Well, I got my first one on a chatterbait about my third cast this morning. Got a nice one right here. Ugh. Rip that puppy right through the grass. Nice chatterbait bite. It's Dalton, everybody. Made my way out here to Santa Margarita. Caught my first largemouth bass of the year right there. That's a nice bass, maybe two or three pounds. Just using a Strike King Thunder Cricket. Got him right in these uh, stick ups here. I went and pulled, jerked through that grass or, or those stick ups, and bam, there he was. That was a nice hit. Chatterbait fish now that this wind kicked up a little bit. Boy, he, he took it good. Another nice bass right there. Beautiful bass. Here's just a little bit. I'll talk to you guys about what's going on out here with this wind. I'm gonna see if I can get me another one. But really, the chatterbait's been the key for me. bait in the wind man I love it when the wind kicks up like this get these little stick up bushes get these fish for the chatterbait I'll try to get some more all right guys while I'm fishing this area right here I'll go over kind of some of the lake conditions here and what's going on uh, I'll start with the water clarity I, I can see down around two two and a half sometimes three feet um, Water temperature out here has been holding the entire day at 67 degrees. So I was talking to somebody a little bit earlier and he had said that uh, he caught about six or seven and uh, he feels that the, the spawn out here is in all three phases. You've got pre, the spawn, and then some post spawn. Um, but because the, the water isn't super duper clear, I don't know, what do they get hung up here? Probably. I get excited when I catch fish. I get all excited. Make sure I don't have to retie. Yeah, I'm gonna have to retie. I'll be right back. All right, so I had to retie real quick. I had a ding in my line. Uh, there's a lot of stick ups out here, little stick up bushes. I'm throwing this chatterbait in there. And uh, what I'm trying to do is just get it hung up on any bush that I can. And then I just rip it, hung up there, rip it. And that's the way I've, I've been getting some bites. Now I've got a few bites on this, but I haven't got them all in. Uh, I missed some of them. So, you know, it, it just kind of goes with this kind of fishing, but this is a great way to fish when the wind kicks up. You know, these fish are really shallow. It's only two, three feet up there in those bushes. But uh, like I was saying, these fish are in the different stages of the spawn out here. Um, there's going to be more spawn, you know, more spawning to come. And it just looks really good out here. Uh, the lake is beautiful. This is a beautiful spring day. And, uh, man, I hope I catch some more. So you get, I'll give you guys my setup real quick, what I'm using. I've got a uh, 7.5 to 1 gear ratio loose speed spool. This is an Okuma EVX rod. It's the uh, 6 foot 8 medium heavy has a nice soft tip I like that for a chatterbait uh, this is actually not a chatterbait per se uh, at least by name this is a uh, Strike King Thunder Cricket it's a half ounce all white and I've got a big bite bait um, I can't remember the name of this I think it's called a kamikaze but it's a really good uh, chatterbait trailer and like I say I just I've got all this stuff to fish 
and I'm going to fish this area thoroughly then I'm going to move up here and then probably come back before I leave and fish it one more time but the biggest thing is just throwing it out there and as soon as I hit or start getting tangled up I just rip it and that, that seems to be I mean every bite I've got with this thing and I've had a few bites with it um, I've just ripped it I'm using a little bit heavier one in that shallow water because I wanted to get down in those bushes so uh, let's see if I can get some more I just missed a couple of more one of them was back there he hit it at first I didn't know it was a fish so I'm pulling back if I knew it was him I'd drop that rod tip but he uh he jumped up and threw this lure right out of his mouth it's hard to believe a hook that size they just throw it right out and then I had another one I was just getting ready to bring it and I saw him go by and swipe it which uh was kind of fun it was, they were both not very big but I had a lot of fun out here today um I think I went over everything water temperature 67 visibility two or three feet um, the line I'm using today I probably could have got away with a straight braid but I just used a 15 pound Seaguar Invisix and uh, I had bought uh, two or three of these Thunder Crickets to check them out uh, I got me another new uh, bladed jig these uh, striking Thunder Crickets are really good so I just wanted to come out here today uh, today is Tuesday and it's uh, it's been a beautiful day uh, it was a little bit uh, uh, misty this morning when I got here. There was some fog. And then uh, right off the bat, first thing I caught one right here. I ran all over the lake. Didn't get very many bites. Most all of my bites came right along this stretch. And like I say, I had several bites. I even missed some. And I had a... Let's see. Uh, they were nipping at this as well. This is a Strike King um, Caffeine Shad 5-inch. I wound up breaking off. I had a few battles today getting snagged casting into trees trying to get it under the trees I'm always trying to get as close as I can uh, sometimes I I get in these little battles But anyway guys thanks for tuning in i enjoyed coming out here i'll be out here again hopefully soon i'm not sure if i'm going to come out here at the end of the week or or take my wife out to nasimiento uh later on this week there's going to be a tournament out here saturday and there was uh, quite a few boats out here today so uh fishing was pretty decent today thanks for tuning in everybody i appreciate you as always talk to you next time